The calls for change are reaching college campuses in Florida. The University of Florida dumps a popular slogan, while Florida State is facing calls to rename its football stadium. CBS4 sports anchor Jim Barry in the newsroom with more on this. Jim? Elliot, imagine no more gator bait in Gainesville. And what about Bobby Bowden Stadium in Tallahassee? Both schools are grappling with where to draw the line on changing history and tradition. And right now, opinions are mixed. Come on, let's go. Lease, you're too slow. You're too slow. Come on. Get there. Come on. These days, Lawrence Wright spends his time training the next generation of athletes. But 25 years ago, Wright was in his football prime as a star at the University of Florida. And when his Gators romped to a national title in 1995, Wright coined a now famous phrase. If you ain't a Gator, you must be Gator bait. But now Wright's alma mater plans to drop the cheer. <laughs> citing an ugly historical reference to black children and alligators. But we're not talking about babies, piccadillies, being fed to alligators. Let's be specific. We, we're talking about challenging uh, another opponent in the arena of athletics, of academics. It's our universe against yours, you know, and that's, that's the standpoint we come from. Nothing more, nothing less than that. Here we go, Leslie. But a recent wave of civil unrest has spawned a new era of racial sensitivity, which has spilled over onto college campuses. At Texas, there's a push to change the school's song. At Mississippi State, a demand by a star player to stop flying the state flag bearing a Confederate symbol. I do think these are steps in the right direction. And former Florida State footballer Kendrick Scott has garnered more than 2,000 signatures to rename FSU's football stadium, calling the former president it was named after a segregationist. I'm just saying it shouldn't be on the state, on the football stadium. We can put it maybe on the Arts and Sciences building or somewhere else, on a library or something. Let's remove that name from the stadium, if you will, and we can put it somewhere else because we can't change history. Wright feels that's exactly what's happening in Florida and that his Gators are scuttling a proud athletic tradition. While it may seem he and Scott line up on opposite ends of the political correctness debate, they clearly agree on one thing, that new slogans and stadium names should not be proof enough that institutions are serious about doing better by black students. It's opportunity. And, you know, people trying to make it something about something else. Nah, it's about opportunity. You give us more opportunity, we can be successful. We've proven it. It's the difference between progress and change. Progress is getting to the five-yard line. Change, they don't change the scoreboard until you cross that goal. Now, in Mississippi, football coaches Lane Kiffin and Mike Leach today call on the state to change its flag. Florida State's president says the school will explore if it should rename its stadium. While at Florida, Lawrence Wright hopes the Gators bring back his popular chant. In the newsroom, I'm Jim Barry, CBS4 Sports.